subscribe button and join our family over here and please if you do so hit the post notification bell and select all therefore every time i upload if youtube is not bugging and tripping tripping and bugging you'll get notified also do me a big favor and hit that share button there are no secrets over here on this channel and sharing is caring and lastly you're gonna like me so hit that like button and for everybody else welcome back diva gang hit the like button hit the share button what is up guys it is saturday i think the 10th is the day yeah the 10th and today is going to be vlogmas seven and eight because that's how we doing it over here i don't know about nobody else but i gotta do it how i gotta do it <laughs> um until i get caught up if i ever get caught up um this is just gonna be like a mini update on what's going on with me i decided i'll just do like little tr or try to do little mini updates every week or once a week just to let you guys know just to check in let you know that i'm doing okay and how things are going or not doing okay and how things are going whatever the case may be um it is saturday so i do not have to work today um work has been kicking my ass like this little two week trend well i think it's like four weeks three weeks and all three or four weeks and all it's been kicking this, and we have two weeks we've completed two weeks so whew, it's been kicking my ass literally so um yeah no <laughs> but i'm hanging in there the worst part of it is over um smooth sailing from this point on um i also have accomplished getting my kid my 14 year old daughter enrolled in school so she was able to start on thursday so thursday and friday she went of course she was not a happy camper about that because she wants to do virtual school but by COVID being over with, technically. Um, they're not really offering that anymore. They only give you like the first two months of the semester, I think, to sign up. And then after then, they close it out until the next school year, I believe. And I'm looking crazy because y'all, I'm getting ready, so don't mind me. Um, so the next school year, and here in um, North Carolina, I think the only other option they had was homebound, but she had to be like, something physically wrong with her and there's nothing physically wrong with her mentally she's just probably not ready to go but i told her hey i ain't getting the trunk trunks people coming out home i do it get me arrest me so yeah but she went um and she'll adjust you know it's just gonna take time for her to adjust you know there's wonderful counselors there and everything that's you know there to help everybody's been really nice so i'm happy about that so i got that off the checklist um, today we will be going to the beauty supply store because I had went to the beauty supply store a week ago to get braid here for her to do her hair and like it was the biggest beauty supply store I've fucking seen and she's into like the little press on nails and everything so we're going to go get her some press on nails because they have like a whole aisle just nothing but nails <laughs> and I'll probably pick up a couple of things try to find me a wig so I can look cute or whatever um, other than that just been living life still trying to find an apartment which is like the hardest thing to do when you're in a, a budget um so i'm currently still at the extended stay and i will be here until i find the right place because i'm not going to get rushed into a place and then two three weeks of me being in this apartment or whatever i'm like oh god no i hate it so now i'm trying to find the perfect perfect place i am working with a realtor so I'm, I'm in no rush you know i'm comfortable here yes it's expensive but i have to do what i have to do as a mom <laughs> um and for the most part i'm peaceful you know i don't nobody argue with me and carrying on and acting crazy so that's the good thing but um yeah so we're going to the beauty supply store then we'll probably swing back here drop our first stuff then we'll go out to the mall because the mall has like everything i think it's out in concord concord north carolina so I'm gonna go through that because I know there's a Dave and Buster's over there. So I'm gonna take her over there, let her, you know, let out some steam, play a couple of video games, whatever it is that 14 year olds do at a Dave and Buster's. 
uh, while I sit and just catch up on some stuff and for the internet and my business. Um, and by the way, I do have my own business. It is fearlessdiva20.com. I will leave a link in the description box. Um, I, I have to get back into the swing of you know promoting my business and all of that. Um, also, I'm going to link a uh, Amazon wish list for my daughter. Um, it's not a lot of stuff on there. It's not a lot of expensive stuff on there. But hey, if Jasmine could put up wish lists and Christmas lips lists, I, bitch, I can too. Um, don't feel obligated. You don't have to buy anything if you don't want to. I'm not begging anybody or anything because... I got money. <laughs> but it's just the whole principle of the thing. If these begging ass bitches can do it and people be buying them all kinds of fucking things, then hey, help out a real bitch, okay? Because I'm being honest, I do need the help, but it, it is what it is. If I don't get it, I don't get it. Her father has already bought, you know, her Christmas stuff. So it, it, it's, it's all good, but it'd be nice to get the help. And also, I'm still on my quest and my journey to get justice for my son. Roderick Franklin Hutchinson Jr. He was killed um, October the 21st of this year. He was testing out a brand new scooter he had bought for himself to get him to and from work and a lady was speeding and hit him. And as of this date, she has not yet been arrested. They're still investigating the case. I am trying to get a dream team or a team of civil lawyers together to get justice, you know, because it's it, it's hard, you know. I don't want to go into too many details, but I do have a GoFundMe. I will link that in the description box as well. Any help that you guys can get, give to my family so we can try to get these, you know, so, some good lawyers. You know what I'm trying to say? We have personal injury lawyers, but they are not going to handle anything civil for us. So I need someone that's going to be able to handle things on the civil side for us. Um, yeah, and other than that, like I said, I'm just here in Charlotte. Um, I love honestly honestly on a scale of one to ten okay and considering that i haven't, haven't went anywhere i haven't went on any dates i haven't did anything okay i love it here like i will give it a on a scale of one to ten i'll give it a six because only because i have not been out and i've not met any friends or anything like that i've just been like focusing on my training because of course work comes first because that's my bread and butter and then getting my daughter adjusted um but yeah, I like it here. I'm like, I don't regret this move at all. I'm like totally feeling this little town here. I'm, it's not little, little here, but it's little compared to where I come from. Like I said, I come from Brooklyn, New York, born and raised basically. So it is what it is. I think it's a bit of a culture shock for my daughter. But she will get, she will, she'll adapt and adjust. She will. Um, other than that, I am um, not really doing anything besides the apartment search, um, which I'm hoping by February I'll be able to get into a place. I'm a fact that my lease will end in Florida by February, at the ending of February, and I need to get my ship out of there. Um, other than that, I'm just going with the going with the motions of the day. I take my life day by day, you know, because that's all I can do. There are some days that are worse than others where I just want to just break down, but I can't because I have my daughter. There are some days where I know that I will be okay, you know. Um, but for the most part, I'm adjusting. She's adjusting, and that's all that counts. Uh, I'm thinking about getting a second job only because I just need like that extra extra you know money because there's things that I want to do there's trips I need to plan on I will be getting my teeth fixed like really soon and when I get that done I will be getting um, my daughter's passport so we're going to be doing some traveling next year I just have to you know get moved get situated so I can definitely decide where I want to go because at this point I don't really know where I want to go when it comes to traveling um I wanted to go to Dubai but uh, I would have to like leave my daughter with one of her siblings or with her dad because I don't really want to take my daughter to a country like Dubai you know but her things I'd rather go check it out myself and then move from there um right now I'm in my little makeup bag and do my face just a little 
will like be nothing all that serious. Um, and then once I come back from my daily um adventures, I'm gonna do a reaction video <laughs> because um yeah, I don't like to say, you know, because bitches is bitches is like whack as fuck. Like you don't have no content. And but you constantly talk about us reactors not having content or whatever. And you make up the same storyline repetitively, always. And it's, it's it's funny to me. If you really want to be honest, it's really funny to me. But we're going to discuss that in a whole nother video. Because I'm trying to stretch it out so I can have Vlogmas con content. So, like I said, today is going to be a day. I will be going to the beauty supply store. We're going to the mall. Going to get a little bit of Christmas shopping done and out the way. Because I still got the send gifts off to my two grandbabies i was trying to get back to florida because my grandchildren and my two oldest kids are in my house in florida um holding down that fort um i wanted to go back to florida but with the way my training is it's like i don't think it's even gonna happen you know and then financially i don't know whether i'll be able to swing it because i do have a lot of expenses here that i'm trying to you know keep under a certain level so I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I just still want to get the little grandbaby's gifts out of the way so I can send those off um, in the mail on Monday. So hopefully they'll get them before Christmas or whatever. You know, I'll probably send them, send them, end up sending them UPS. So I know for a fact they'll get them before Christmas because messing with the United States Postal Service is some bullshit. Sorry, not sorry. But I'm rambling at this time. I'm finished making up the face, getting myself together so we can get out of here because time be flying. And by the time 4.30 come, it be pitch black dark outside like it's nighttime, nighttime. So I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, y'all.